the reason why the media and especially the music industry is gaining ascendance is a spiritual law because every time the allegiance of a people would be declared to a king music will precede it right in daniel chapter 2 and 3 when you begin to read what happened to the three hebrew boys it says when you begin to hear the pipe and the horns the moment you begin to hear musical sounds what will you do let the whole land bow down to a graven image notice hold on let me explain something do you see the strategy of babylon nebuchadnezzar never said bow down to me but he created an image of him are you getting my point he created an image of himself and dropped it and he said don't worry if i say bow down to me it may look deceptive so bow down to the image i told you that the goal of babylon is to bow down to any other thing aside from the christ so you may say i'm not bowing to satan but whatever else you bow down to outside of the christ is him including ministry including anointing as spiritual as they are the seat of the christian experience is not the anointing it's not ministry the seat of the christian experience is not even bible the seat of the christian experience is jesus the christ the son of the living god he is the object everything revolves around him jesus at the center of it all that's how it is done jesus at the center of it all listen this antichrist system has built different statues and has placed it all around right and so what happens is through witchcraft and some level of intelligence that are superhuman they seem to hoard the wealth of the world and then they begin to manipulate policies that will compel men to bow to the dictates the speakings of the beast are you getting what i'm saying and today listen to me i bring you a very sad news that a major part of humanity please don't stop the strings just play the strings a major part of humanity are bowing down to satan through many formats pastors are bowing down celebrities are bowing down students are bowing down workers are bowing down so many people poor people are bowing down wealthy people are bowing down but because the system has masqueraded itself in secrecy we do not really see the object of our allegiance but the apostolic and the prophetic spirit comes to unveil the deception and reveal to the body that there is only one lord there is only one faith there is only one baptism this antichrist system has assumed different names different bodies different platforms being deceived by themselves satan has even among them satan has orchestrated deception so that it looks like they are fighting themselves but the truth is that they are all a team is the extent of the deception and the name that that body will assume before the return of christ is the new world order a structure and a system that attempts to unify humanity under one umbrella the question is what is the umbrella are you interested in what i'm saying tonight i'm just doing a recap of last week's message one umbrella and so the united nations now unites all of the nations and then the african union all of these are formations of the tower of babel they are already the foundations of the rebuilding of that godless system genesis 11 replaying itself again listen i want you to forgive me because i i really would have played some documentaries 
Hallelujah. I would have shown you documentaries where aliens, what you call foreign bodies or whatever it is you want to use, how they have assisted the technology of mankind until now. Some of the super intelligent inventions that have happened that we credit it to the wisdom of men was as a result of secret meetings and fraternities with demonic entities. We will supply you a level of superior intelligence that will help to accelerate this agenda. You will make money in the process, but there is a deal. And they never reveal the other side of the deal. If, I, if I'm in a covenant with you, the benefit is mutual. We have seen what these demonic alien bodies have supplied to humanity, but we have not seen what we pledge to them. And it is happening fast. Now, don't you ever say this does not concern you. Because very soon you will see how that the media and every aspect of human existence has been polluted and corrupted. It used to be in secret. But right now they have laid sufficient foundations. And according to their structure like the Titanic, they are convinced that it will not crash. So they are now coming in the open. We are the ones. We hold the power. We hold the authority. We hold your daily bread. We hold the keys to your relevance. We can shut your universities and open them when we want to. We can shut the doors of wealth if we want to. We can declare war in a nation if we want to. You are seeing the formation of the Antichrist government. You better listen to this because you have confessed all your life that you will not die. The meaning of that is you will be alive as you are right now you will see that formation but the parts they do not understand is that there is an army hmm. i'm telling you every time i say this i feel excited there is an army see do you know how many centuries it took for satan to build this system to this level of sophistication there were times when the body of christ the church of god in the earth was so strong they would not even allow an iota of the antichrist system what the devil did was to sacrifice that generation and go for the ones to come are you getting my point he waited decades for the generation of the fathers that truly had reverence what he did was he led them through deception to be so occupied with ministry and revivals that they never paid attention to the generation coming. Are you getting what I'm saying? So they were busy doing what they believed to be kingdom advancement. And the devil started bringing messages that made them believe that Jesus would come in their time. So they felt there was no need to raise the younger generation because after all, right? What I'm telling you is something that happened in the maybe 30s, 40s. They said Jesus would come. Certain heretic teachings started mixing up with revivals. And they said Jesus is coming. There's no need teaching the younger generation. And so at a point, there was a period and a dispensation of time where the precepts of God was not handed over to the generation. And then there were others that came in the 60s and 70s, God's generals as we know. And yet, the devil kept quiet. What he did was he started attacking those who are now the presidents of the nations. He started following them when they were children. When others said they are young, just leave them, what will they know? And the devil said, let's make this a 60, 70, 80, 100 year project. And all the reverends who served God died and they buried them. Right? All the mothers who will not hear a child say stupid or something, they will beat his mouth. American or no American. The devil said, let's be patient. We can't stop them, but they, can't, they will die. So let's be patient until they die. Look at me. Satan can be patient. He can wait for a whole generation to pass. While the, this generation right now that are perpetuating, how old are they? Most of the people who are the envoys of darkness, especially in the music ministry, <laughs> sorry, in music what? Music industry. They are not up to 30. I hope you know that. 
it was a secret thing right now there are shows where people come and identify celebrities from childhood is that so that's the strategy of the devil they identify them talent horns if you are not talented you are not needed in the rebuilding of babylon see that so you come and sing and, and you sing as if you are talking they shift you one side and they find the bright ones and then they give them some money and their broke parents say go we believe in what god is doing through you and now they sign contracts and they say look you are a machine if we did not tell you know it now you are not a human being you are a machine what does a machine do perfect obedience you own it it remains until you off it it does not off by its initiative we will give you money we will put you on the scene so that you will use your influence to attract others but behind the scene you have sold your soul are you getting what i'm saying now and when the devil realized that there were men and women of god who were noticing that something was wrong he quickly manipulated the economy so that poverty becomes a serious issue and then they stop looking and they say okay, let's handle this issue and taught them wrong principles so that they will use the entire lifetime looking for money and not turn and say something is wrong there must be a correction are you getting what i'm saying everybody say babylon the antichrist system will fall say one more time babylon the antichrist system will fall this is the reason why somebody will go for a meeting abroad and come back and just look at your god-fearing mother and orchestrate a scandal that has no head and tail and fire them from the company immediately they are fired somebody comes in and now he says now we are the top members of the cabinet we represent the future of this company and we pledge our allegiance to the same deity right gradually jesus was taken out of media they still left god no, if you if you bring in jesus there is trouble they knew that if they take jesus god you can leave angels you can leave god you can leave seraphs and cherubims they removed jesus the center of everything later on they started attacking god right and then when the grace message began to be exaggerated they leverage on the exaggeration to remove the ten commandments they say after all you hear what you are saying you don't need it let's get it out but it was not about the object as it is about the person that was choking darkness notice this they never said don't stop serving jesus they started taking away emblems and things that represented the presence of the christ in a territory listen there is a reason why things are documented archaeology is a spiritual thing it's not there is men will lose touch with reality if there are no structures and monuments to remind them these things are not they are not some you know this is the exaggeration now, of course i believe in the the message of grace don't get me wrong but i'm saying benihin and and and, and sidrod calls it the hyper grace message when it is pushed out of the boundary right there are monuments that have choked the design of this antichrist system certain emblems of the spirit upon currencies upon lands churches that were built where revivals happen every time you want to build an antichrist system when you see these monuments they they represent the presence of god in territories and right now they are breaking them down in the name of excavations in the name of westernizations they are breaking they are cutting humanity away from the history of godliness right they have manipulated laws such that if you have a child like this our dear lady right now she can decide to tell her mother that she wants to get married this baby and if you take her to court be sure you will lose because that's the kind of agenda they want in two days they would have set up a website stop oppressing children.com right and they manipulate a news a demonic nigerian mother violates the human rights of her daughter the antichrist system is hungry for scandals 
a man of God does something. Now, I'm not, I'm not endorsing scandals, but something happened. Maybe he fell, you know, into all kinds of things and they just, they just magnify it. They use his worst picture, right? They use a nice watch like I'm wearing now and say the ones who eat our money and sleep with our ladies. Caption. Run down the ministry and do everything. They think it's a perpetuation of civilization. But what is happening, hear me, what is happening behind the scene is an advancement of the Antichrist system. Because a day will come, they will now start probing into Sunday and say, based on what do believers gather on Sunday? Right? Gradu they won't attack it now. It's too early. They will build foundations and one day, they will now say no church will operate until they are licensed by the government. And they will set question and answer for men of God based on theology oh yes oh yes it will happen and say you must be certified by the state to be a preacher is that true and you must be registered with the government and the government will pay you your salary and what that means is according to the way you dance to their dictates notice oh please just pay attention this is a background we have not started today's teaching. I want to land this series with something heavy this night. Hallelujah. Then they will give pastors uniform. If it's not blue and black suit, you cannot preach. So that if I am poor and I cannot afford a thousand dollars versace, what does that mean? The message will not pass. Are you getting what I'm saying? And then they will now reduce our service time to 45 minutes. Because they have, they have interpreted the church as a nuisance to society. The average American will tell you the church is a nuisance. They will say all they are doing is raising money. And then in the fear of that, churches have become welfare organizations. Just to validate the offerings that have been given. And so a pastor comes and says, we are revealing the love of Jesus. We are caring for the hurting. Look, let me tell you, straight to the point, without ambiguity. Caring for the poor and the fatherless is part of the nature of God and is incorporated as part of the gospel. But if that is what we think is kingdom advancement, we are joking. Notice that all the ministries, especially outside of this country, whose agenda is all about caring for the poor and hurting, receive an applause from people they say yes just stay there nothing more no controversial teachings care for the poor and then you see one godless man partners with them and says i'm giving you a million dollars feed the hungry and all of that you think that's what god asks us to come and do here just come and keep feeding hungry people you see that i'm showing you babylon masquerading itself and so they say you're a pastor 10,000 members we feed the hungry our church is open once you're hungry just make your way Jesus died after all what are the offerings for now look let me tell you fear has made a lot of men of God to dance to these things but it's a corruption of the strategy it is still Babylon Babylon is making such bold advancements right bold advancements look at music that are being played and in those musics jesus is acted as a slave there are all kinds of and they act they act music and they put crown and mock jesus and people buy the albums they sell millions per day but you raise a song and the company you want to promote you they will buy it and run you down and sell it back to another Look, let me tell you, church, I want you to wake up. There is a call, there is a need for someone to go and take the land. We have the call and we see the need. We don't feel strong enough for this. But the kingdoms of this world will become the kingdoms of the Lord. So take us, break us, make us 
Release us, we're ready to go. We are ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. Sing one time with me. I'm ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. Say anything and do anything that attacks this government. And the first thing they will do to you is to try to stamp you down. But if they find out that you are operating by, an, a, by a principle that is higher than their wisdom, the next strategy is to negotiate with you. They say, after all, we are not enemies. It's just different sides of God. Why fight? It is true we all believe in Jesus. But the question is, as what? As what? I can believe in Sam. But as what? It's not just to believe in Jesus. There is something about him you must believe. So you see, the world is saying, no, 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 come on. You guys are fighting. We all believe in Jesus. But the question is, as what? Because they want you to settle and say, we are all believers. We are family. Hold my hands. We are one. Right? One big family. The sun just exploded and vomited all of us. It's just that we are, we are so old, we don't know ourselves. So we are one big family. I need you to survive. The question I have for you is we all believe in Jesus as what? Right now, even preachers cannot say Jesus because it's offensive. So they say God. Exactly, they are walking based on the mapping of Babylon. Because it's easy to turn God into anything. God is a bottle of minerals to some people. Fanta, right? God is a beautiful lady to somebody. God is a fish. I have a picture um, on my system. A woman that lay down with her sweetheart. Sardine. Sardine. Fish. Fish. Sardine. Right? Lay down. No, I have it. The woman lay down in such atmosphere of love and romance and the fish was there lying down that can be god and you have no right a system has been created that you have no right to probe it are you getting me very soon they will teach our children that there is no male and female so a child of seven years will see you and say good afternoon ma if you don't answer they will take you to court because they will now say what is the basis of male and female are you getting what i'm saying <laughs> behold the emergence of babylon we are distracted trying to be mogs we are distracted building ministries and cathedrals and babylon is flourishing effortlessly but in the name of jesus there is only one resistance to this agenda. It is called the Ecclesia. God's apostolic and prophetic strategy. And tonight, very briefly, I'm going to be unveiling to us what the church really is, what our mission is in the earth, and the strategy for the execution of this project. God bless you guys. Please sit down. Write this word down. Ecclesia. E double K L E S I A. E double K L E S I A. Ecclesia. The first mention of this word, theologically speaking, is in Matthew 16, verse 18, when Jesus says, um, Upon this rock I will build my ecclesia. Right? I will build my church. I will build I will not contract it I will build my church and it says the gates of hell shall not prevail that means I will build it and put in it resistant components such that no matter the assault of the gates of hell 
it will not prevail. Say amen. 